Okay, I am doing a video of a Game Boy, I'm a virtual Game Boy, a virtual boy. Um, I just got this in the mail, I just opened it up. I didn't get it out. Um, first I'm going to spare any expense in the packaging. Um, so this is the, the console, and well, let's, hold on, set you down. Battery's already in this. Stand and one game. So, yes, and it takes six batteries. Holy crap, that's a lot of batteries. And let's get this set up. got the virtual boy set up. Hey, Mr. Bruce. And it goes in there. And there we go. And then the the game pack goes on here, it just slides on. And then, and then you plug it in over here. And the on switch is on the controller itself. So, yes. One thing I really like about the controller is the way it feels. It feels great. And the L and R buttons are right here. Great for it. And what I really like about it is that the buttons, you actually feel like you're actually pressing them. Unlike the Game Boy Advance SP. And it has two D-pads. I really like that. One thing I don't like about this is that battery pack is on the controller. Why is it on the controller? What? You couldn't just put it on the Virtual Boy? Like, there's a lot of room. It's huge. Um, and what I don't like about the Virtual Boy is the head strap. And it's very hard to play it. It's, it's hard to focus, also. The focus is right here. Um, and it's somewhat uncomfortable if you can't find a comfortable way to play this, but it's kind of relatively easy. Um, a lot of people say that when they use it, their eyes hurt after a while. I've never experienced that. And the only thing that hurts when I play it is this. This hurts around my eyes. I don't know why, but just I'm guessing the outside is rigid and cheap foam. This is all original. And but what I really like about it is that it has a very cool design. Um, it was originally supposed to have LCD lights, that means in color, but they couldn't get it to work. And they said it was too heavy, so they couldn't have it head mounted. So they made a stand. And one thing is, they said it was a portable device. It's not portable. Why would you even want to take this anywhere? Or play it, play it in public anyway. I mean, 
Can you imagine seeing someone out in public using this? Anyway, ah, dang it. Anyway, it's it has a lot of great games like Wario Lands, Tell Boxer, Mario Clash, and what's the other game? Let me think. The other good game for it is Jack Bros, which is expensive and hard to find. Um, some games that really suck that is on this. <sighs> Number one is easily given to Waterworld. Man, that game is just horrible. And then the other one is Red Alarm. It's basically just Star Fox, but in red and black, but as a wireframe. You can barely tell where you're going. So, the cartridges for this are kind of cool. Um, they're thin. They feel fine. Um, and it's a nice system. So, and one thing that a lot of people have problems with are the eyepieces. Um, with mine, the right one does not work, but the left one works. The only bad thing that that really affects you, affects you in is that it can't be in 3D. If that doesn't work, 3D doesn't work. So it's just in 2D if you look into it. So it still works and it plays fine. Um, it did work once with 3D. But it was cool, but it usually doesn't work. So, number one rule is, is this worth getting? Yes, it is. It's very fun and great to have in your collection. So, that's it.